Want to know how to create an editable PDF that you or whomever you give it to can then add in their own text or click on to check things off? In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a PDF in Canva that you can then edit. This is the third video in my Canva over coffee series where I sit down with my cup of coffee. Today it is tea and I teach you how to create something cool in Canva that you can then use on your blog, your website, your freebie, wherever it works for you and your business. Now make sure to check out the Canva over coffee playlist above or in the description below for all the tutorials. Now, let me share my screen with you and we'll get started. All right, if you don't have a Canva account yet, the first thing you wanna do is come to Google and type in the creativeimpact.com forward slash Canva. Full disclosure, this is my affiliate link. If you use this link to sign up and you do eventually decide to upgrade to the pro plan, then I will get a small commission for recommending it to you. This is at absolutely no extra cost to you. And I never recommend anything that I don't use and love myself. If you've been following me for a while, you know that Canva is one of my favorite go-to tools. I use it every single day. And using my link, it just allows me to keep doing tutorials like this for you. So I appreciate you using my link if you do find these types of tutorials helpful. All right, then once you're here, you have the choice to try Canva Pro for 30 days free so you get access to all the features or you can just go directly to Canva for free. There is a free option. You can scroll down and see what you get with a free plan as well as what you'd get with a free trial of the pro plan. Once you decide if you wanna just start designing for free or you want access to all the features for 30 days for free with the pro plan, click one of these and it will prompt you to sign up for an account. So once you log in, you will get to a screen like this where you can choose your different design options right here. You can go to create a design and get some suggested options. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to this box that says search Canva and we are gonna type in checklist for this tutorial. And what that's gonna do is gonna bring up all different checklist templates that we're, we can choose from. So we can choose any of these to create our PDF with. So let's just take, Let's take this one and we can customize it however we'd like. So we're going to pretend that we are making a vegan grocery shopping checklist. So I'm going to change this to say vegan grocery shopping Whoop. checklist. You can take this, stretch it out if you want it all on the same side. You can take this, let's move this over here. Move that over like that. We can change our background here by double clicking on it and come over here to the side that says background. Let's go into, let's see all here. What would be a good vegan background? We have some kiwis. Yeah, let's just use the kiwis. Okay, there we go. We can change the font of this. We can make it a different color if we want by coming up here to text color. Uh, this doesn't really work. Okay, let's keep it white and let's put a little block behind it. So we can come over here to elements and we'll just use the, the shape of the square and we can take our arrow here and make it narrower. Let's bring it up here. Pull it all the way across and let's change our color. Let's make it green. We'll stick with that theme. So you can just come to this block, click on this arrow. You can choose your own hex code or you can just use this bar to find a color that you like. I'm just gonna put it like that. Okay, you can change how the color of this check mark here. You can really customize it and make it your own. We'll just make it blue. So then to customize this even further, you can just change these out. So we say carrots, um, grapes, you know, and all the way, all the way down. And you can change the text by just highlighting the text or the box coming up here, dropping it down and choosing um, a font that you want to use or searching for one up here. So you can change it to something like grapes like that. You can make it fancy, you know, whatever works for you. All right, what do we have in an alley or on regular? Okay, let's go back to that. And then all the way to the top, it'll show your most recently used. So we'll just click back on that. And we'll pretend that we made these all different vegan grocery items. And now we're gonna be ready to 
download this PDF and I'm going to show you how we're then going to make it editable. Okay. So we'll come over here to this purple arrow like this, and we're going to click on that. And that's going to allow us to download this. Now we are going to download this as a PDF. Okay. We don't want this to just be an image. It's not an image we're giving. We'd be using this as a freebie. So we want to make it a PDF. So we will click the purple button and click download. All right, once you have downloaded your PDF, the next step is to go to pdfescape.com. And this is where we are going to make our PDF editable. So I'm going to meet you over there. Okay, here we are at pdfescape.com. Now there are things to log in, make an account, but it's free. You don't need to do any of that. You just need to come here to this button that says choose file. And this is where we're going to upload the download that we just downloaded from Canva. We're going to upload that PDF right here. So you're going to choose your file, go to your downloads, choose the one that you wanted to upload, and it's going to upload it right into here for free. And this is where we're going to start making it editable. So here is our vegan grocery shopping list. And what we want to do is make it edible so that when someone clicks on these boxes, we can get check marks. And then also if they want to add in any shopping items down here, they can do that as well. So the first thing we want to do is come over here to the left and click on form field. And then from here, this box comes up. We're going to click this drop down arrow and go to check box and click select. Now from here, you're going to go up to the top corner of your first box with your arrow hold down your mouse and just drag it over till this box appears. You can center it however you want. And then these check marks are going to come up. We're going to do that for each one. It's not center. You can move it over. So now we can, when you click on them or unclick on them, check marks come up. So we'll do that for each one. I'm going to do this fast just for the purpose of time. We'll do one for each one of these. And then we'll also come down and do them for these ones down here in case people choose to add their own items to this list. Okay. And once that's done, and they can be checked or unchecked, it really doesn't matter. We'll come back to form field and we're going to select the text box now. And we'll do the same thing. We'll drag it from here to the top left all the way over till we get a text box. Let's do that with this one. And then one more right here. Now, when you click on it, you can see that you can write some text here, but it is smaller than the other one. So we can change that. You can change the font and also the size. So let's try to get this to the size of these other ones. Oh, that's closer. Let's try, let's do 28. Okay, yeah, I like that. So we'll make this one 28. And we'll make this one 28 as well. Okay. So once you have created your text boxes and your checks boxes here, the next thing you want to get this off of there. The next thing you want to do is come over here to the left hand side and click save and download these two the screen box with these arrows. And then once it's downloaded, you can pull it up and you can see when you click on these boxes. Now you're able to have check marks here. And you can write stuff in down here. Whoops, I accidentally kept those letters there. We wanted to make sure they weren't there. So we can just write stuff like tomatoes. And there you go. I hope that tutorial was helpful to you. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. I love to know what ideas you are thinking of for your PDF that you would create in Canva that is then editable and clickable. Will you use it for a freebie, a digital product that you sell within your course or your coaching? Let me know in the comments below. Want to start and or grow a profitable blogging business, but you just need some clarity on what and, and where to focus your efforts for maximum results, then schedule a free 15-minute clarity call with me via Zoom at thecreativeimpact.com forward slash free call, where we can discuss what your next actionable steps should be to really move your specific blog and business forward. That's it for today, guys. Keep making a creative impact with your knowledge, talents, and skills, and I'll see you next time.